batch of texts from anti-Trump FBI employees, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, make its way to congressional committees. This time, the text revealed just how big of an impact James Cummings' firing had on the FBI lovebirds. So what will Congress do with these new details? Joining us to weigh in, Republican Congressman Louis Gohmert, who received the text as a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. Great to be with you, Thank What are you, you. going to do with these texts? Well, there are not enough of them is the problem. Mm. This is just more um, obfuscation on the part of people that were uh, wanting to cover for the Obama administration. It seems pretty clear. Uh, and with some of the texts, though, even as limited as they were, uh, there's very disturbing comments, uh, yeah. like the POTUS, the you know, President of the United States, wants to know everything we're doing. Holy cow, <laughs> that's what you call a smoking gun. The president wants to know. So anyway, all you have to do is have these guys uh, interviewed by an FBI agent, and as soon as they don't tell the truth, uh, you have a legitimate case, a uh, felony case to bring against uh, sure. these FBI and DOJ officials. But what also is again highlighted is what many of us heard back before the election when when some Democrats were upset that Comey came out and said, we're reopening the email investigation. What I was hearing was that Comey had done everything he could to stonewall and that he was sitting on the thousands of emails that had showed up in Wiener's uh, sure. laptop. Mm -hmm. And finally, what we'd heard was there were a couple of FBI agents that said, Comey, you either get this out there and reopen the investigation or we're going to quit. We're going to have a press conference and we're going to disclose how you have covered up for Hillary Clinton. Sure. So in that, if that was the case, and it seems like this evidence uh, supports that because it shows that mm -hmm. actually he knew a full month before he reopened the investigation. Sure. Why did uh, he wait? That's a, it's an yeah. important question. We got to get those answers. Let me we let's, do. let's uh, show for our audience a couple of those text exchanges between Peter Stroke and Lisa sure. Page that we got from May of 2017. Stroke saying, "Having a tough time processing tonight, Liz. Liz, Liz feeling night. a profound sense of loss." Page says, "I feel the same loss. I'm angry, angry, and mounting." So these are and there's another another one from May 9th of 2017, which where they say, "We need to open the case we've been waiting on." now while Andy is acting. So Andy, of course, Andy McCabe. Uh, right. You know, and one more, we'll play one more that came out from May 9th. Uh, acknowledge, damn it, I'm dying down here. Now more than ever, this is an important, critical time. So these are just a few of the text messages you're supposed to get from that six months that we never right. got, right? And one of the, yes, exactly. And one of the things that uh, is actually helpful to us, but it's extremely detrimental to Comey, uh, like comedian Ron White said, yeah, I have the right to remain silent. I, ain't, I just ain't got the ability. <laughs> and I think that's where Comey is. He can't shut his mouth and he's digging himself a deeper hole the more he talks and the more inconsistent he is, which is understandable. We see this many times when authors who write fiction have written a book, they've made up facts, and then they uh, try to remember the exact truth. It's very difficult, and that's what we Cut. have here. Comey's yeah. been running around the country promoting mm -hmm. a work of fiction Cut. and things that he just made up out of whole cloth, and, and so it's tough for him to remember the real truth. Now. Congressman, we've got to go. We're out of time. Real quickly, yeah. will you commit that the Judiciary Committee will get to the bottom of what was inherent at the FBI? I think the American people are taking away that there was a you, fundamental that's problem. What I, that's what I love about Bob Goodlatte. We're not backing down. We are continuing to drive, and they aren't threats. We're either getting them or we're coming after the people that aren't delivering. And there you go. We All shall right. see. Congressman Louis yep. Gomer, thank you for your time. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, still ahead. Is the Democrats' desire to get the president convicted of a crime or impeached actually